On the Money Watch, tax season officially kicks off today, and the IRS is expecting millions of us to file. So WBZ's Courtney Cole spoke with experts about the best ways we can prepare. And Courtney, there's a lot to think about this year. Oh, absolutely. It's the day we've all been waiting for. Well, not quite. But today does mark the official start of tax season, and the IRS is expecting to process more than 128 million tax returns this year. In this world, nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes. First written by founding father Benjamin Franklin in 1789, 235 years later, truer words have never been spoken. So I took a trip to LGA CPAs in Woburn to talk to a professional about the best way for you to prepare this tax season. Tax partner Laura O'Brien tells me that starts with making sure you have all the necessary documents. Don't delay, don't procrastinate, just stay on top of things. And once you've got the significant amount of information gathered, you either bring that to your tax preparer or start the process yourself. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of tax credits and tax deductions, starting with the difference between the two. Tax credits are more valuable because it's a dollar for dollar reduction in how much tax you owe. A tax deduction is going to reduce your income, which is then taxed. Truly understanding the credits and the deductions that you qualify for is what O'Brien says can make all the difference when it comes to getting the most back on your return. So let's look at what's new with tax credits this filing season. Governor Healy signed a tax relief bill in October of 2023 and included in this were three main changes. The first change is for the short term capital gains tax. That basically means if you sold assets in less than a year, they will now be taxed at 8% instead of 12%. There was also a change in the estate tax. Massachusetts is now taxing your estate beginning at 2 million. And with the new millionaire's tax, there's an extra 4% surcharge on any income over $1 million. Now here's a look at the deductions that are new this year. Massachusetts created a new tax credit for dependents that's now 440 in 2024. There's an increase in rental deduction to 4,000 and there's an increase in the septic system tax credit to a maximum of 18,000. If you're doing any home improvements this year or last year, you'll wanna uh, check energy.gov um, and here you'll see what type of home improvements um, that will qualify for that. Yolanda Rigo, a tax manager at LGA, tells me even though the IRS has improved the process since COVID, there is still a delay when it comes to filing paper returns. So electronic filing is one of the best ways to get your refund sooner. And another thing that I think is a misconception with people is that, um, that when they owe taxes that you know, if you do it sooner, you have to pay it sooner. Um, so I think that's why everyone waits to get their information to us by April 15th. That means even if you get your taxes done early, you still have until April 15th to make the payment. And if you get the tax bill back and it's higher than you expected, don't ignore it. Take a deep breath, don't ignore, file your return with as much as you can, and then contact the IRS to get into a payment plan. All right, so on average, the IRS says it takes less than 21 days for you to get your refund. That tax deadline is April 15th. However, this year in Massachusetts and Maine, because of state holidays, they will be due on April 17th. But my friends, that doesn't mean you get your blood pressure up and wait until the last minute. Paula. You don't want to do that, but when, when it goes to the 17th, you know, you just feel like you're getting away with a little something, don't you? Um, if it does go 21 days and you haven't received your tax fund refund yet, what should you do then? Okay, so here's the thing. The IRS, they have really, really improved like their, their online presence, mm -hmm. right? So Yolanda Rigo with LGA explained, go to the IRS website. There's actually a tool explicitly called Where's My Refund? They mm -hmm. make it really easy for you and it's free. And Paula, there's also an IRS to go app if you want to just have it with you all the time. So two easy options. That's good. Where's my refund? Um, and it's irs.gov, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Courtney Cole, thank you. Thank you.